How's it going everyone? Today I wanted to show you all something that I had sent to me from a few different people and it's basically a Saab, an electric Saab delivery van of sorts. So before I get into that however, I want to give a shout out to the sponsor of today's video which is New Air. So this is New Air's portable garage heater that they have sent out to me and I've used it a couple times. It's now April so the uh, the weather's starting to warm up to the point where I don't need this, but especially if you live in a colder climate, this is something that can be extremely useful for you. You can see it's a pretty simple design. You just have the heating coil in there and then of course the fan around back. Now the really nice thing about this that I like, not only is it portable, you know, you can see it's relatively small, but it also comes with a remote. So as I said, this can be freestanding like this. It can also be mounted on your ceiling because a lot of people have outlets on their ceiling in their garage or on a wall. So you can, you know, just mount it and then you can turn it on. You can adjust the temperature, you can adjust the fan speed. So it's pretty cool. A lot of adjustments, good bang for your buck. If you guys are interested in purchasing this, I think especially those of you that live over in Sweden should definitely consider picking one of these up. Make sure to check out the link at the top of the description, go to their site and use the code autopsy for 10% off. Now, with that being said, Let's get back to the video. Saab has always been a brand that has experimented with some weird stuff. I mean, I've done some videos on some of their weird prototypes before. They had like some, almost like a limousine looking 900 that they had expanded. They've had just a lot of just weird, I guess, concepts and cars that they've made a handful of. And this is, I guess, another example of one. Now, the article that I had sent to me was actually from Autoblog that was posted a couple of weeks ago, which is, you know, why it kind of came back up. But upon doing some more research, it appears that there are two different, uh, I guess, Saab 99 or Saab delivery vans uh, that were made around the, this 1970-1975 time period. So from what I can see in the reading that I've done here, there's about three articles that are useful in English that I found on it. Uh, it appears that they are mechanically, at least, the same car. They just look different. So this one, in my opinion, is the more interesting one. So we'll talk about this one first. This is from the Autoblog article. And you can see that I think it's cool because Saab pretty much utilized like a lot of aspects from the Saab 99, which was like their big popular car back then. Um, it's got their front end, the entire 99 front end, like the grill, the headlights, the bumper even, the soccer ball wheels, which were really famous. You know, you can tell it was made as a prototype of sorts, and from the back here it almost looks like a Range Rover Defender, or a Land Rover Defender. Uh, you guys can let me know if you agree with me on that in the comments. But, I mean, just looking at pictures here, you can see it, it was kind of, you know, it, it wasn't something that was ever meant for production. and. I guess, you know, you can see on the inside as well, you can see the battery packs down there. I'll talk about those here in a minute. But it featured some other Saab 99 parts on the inside as well, which is pretty cool. Even had a radio in it and an AC, so it was clearly made for, I mean, not for production, but uh, Saab's plan, or I guess the plan with this thing, was to use it as a postal delivery van. So basically the little car that drives around and delivers you your mail. and. Compared to the ones that we have from the USPS here that I've seen around quite a lot, this is a very similar like size and dimension and look as to those that we have. So I think that's kind of cool that they definitely, you know, it definitely kind of looks the part in that sense. Why there's so many windows on it, I mean, I guess that's just for visibility, but I'd figure that it's all going to be storage in the back, so why do you have so many windows? But there's just so many like weird quirky things to talk about with this. I mean, there's the looks is one, there's the fact that it's using a lot of Saab 99 parts. You can see the 99 rear bumper on there too. There's just a lot of like weird quirky things. Even this rear vent that went on the 99s and the 900s. Like I said, there's just a lot of like 99 parts that are just like hodgepodged and thrown on there and I think it's kind of cool. But I think the even quirkier part is the fact that it's electric. And here is that other, uh, I guess, prototype that I found some pictures of that I'll go ahead and talk about here briefly in a second. Again, it's pretty much identical to this one as far as I can tell. So pretty much how how this car worked is because obviously battery technology and electric cars as a, as a whole have evolved not only in the last 10 years alone, just substantially, but especially looking back at the 70s when this was made. I mean, the technology is just on two completely different atmospheric levels. I mean, it's it's ridiculous how much it's evolved. And that kind of goes to show with, you know, the technology that they were using here. And they pretty much used 
14 batteries and they put them on a tray and it was meant to have about 40 miles of range. So, you know, for doing a postal route, I'd say that's, you know, that's pretty good. And when your range ran out, instead of going back and charging it because the charging took so long, you would slide the tray out and you would replace the batteries. And I assume you would recharge those batteries while they're out of the car and just kind of swap them back and forth. Like you'd switch out the battery on the camera. Although obviously it would take more than two seconds to do. So I think that's a pretty cool and ingenious idea there to kind of get around that initial problem of how long it takes to charge and I guess lack of range that these have. But again, 40 miles isn't really bad. One, for that time, and two, for, you know, this purpose that it was supposed to serve. This was, I, I've seen mixed things. Um, this article doesn't talk much about it, but I guess I can go ahead and talk about the other model that I saw now. This one is, uh, this one said that it was not from Saab, that it was kind of like a company or someone bought parts from Saab and then put it together. So I'm a little bit confused on that, so I don't want to make a definitive statement that Saab made it or Saab didn't make it. Now obviously this one is different than the other one. You can see, you know, pretty much all around. It just, it looks completely different, but as far as I'm aware, it's on the same chassis. And uh, it ha I mean, even the interior is different too. So this is just a completely different prototype of sorts, I guess. But I personally think that this one, not necessarily is lame, but I mean, come on, it doesn't have the 99 front end on it. So it just looks like a bland old boring postal service man, where opposed to this, now this is style right here. That, that is style. So um, there's not much else to say on something like this, other than there is a video. If you look on Saab World, if you just search like Saab electric delivery van, this article will come up, but there is a video I guess it's not on this article. It must be on the Saab Planet article here that talks about, there. It just kind of does like a walk around of it, but it's all in Swedish, I'm assuming. So I have no idea, you know, what he's saying, unfortunately. So for you Swedish speaking subscribers, you bilingual folks, uh, I'm sure that you'll be able to uh, interpret that. But I guess that's really all I've got for today. I don't want to make this drone on for too much longer than it needs to. If you guys are not following me on Instagram, I would recommend doing that because sitting behind here for the Turbo X, uh, I just got something in for it that's going to make it faster. I'll just, I'll just leave it at that. So with that being said, follow me on Instagram or at least check out my page if you're wondering what that is. A uh, timetable for when that video of an install will come, I don't know, hopefully within the next couple of weeks from when you're seeing this, but again, if you want up-to-date stuff, check out my Instagram. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure to check out New Air for any of your garage heating or cooling, or I guess just in general, your portable heating and cooling needs. I've had them send me stuff before, and it works really well. So, uh, especially for those of you that live in colder climates, I think this heater would come in really handy. So, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you all next time. Thank you.